Now is a good time to add the number of kills a player has done. And before we get started, we better add the user interface for this. Inside of the game, on the left side we have the HP for the health points, and on the right side we will put the number of kills. Alright, having said so, I'm gonna go in the canvas and add a new one here. Now we have the health text, and it's already set up, so what I want to do is just duplicate that. I can just right click and duplicate. And now instead of health text, I will call this one kills text. All right, so that we know the number of kills. And instead of being centered to the bottom right, I'm gonna center this and anchor this by pressing the Alt key or the Option key to the bottom right. And same thing for the, on, by clicking on Shift so that I also have the anchor. All right. Having done so, now, I can replace the, the text HP by kills. Kills, and it will start at zero. So kills zero, that will do. All right. Now, uh, it might be a bit small, so feel free to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, but as you can see, if you try to make it bigger, it, it will disappear because the width and the height is maybe a bit too small. So feel free to increase that. I'm gonna put maybe 40 here. As you can see, now it's back. All right. And uh, now it's time to actually create the script that will drive this. I'm going into the Iron Man folder and I'm going to create a new script. I'm going to just right click, create C sharp script, and I'm going to name it player kills for the number of kills. Now I put it in the wrong spot, so I'm going to make sure that it's inside of the Iron Man folder. All right. Okay, here it is. Now I'm going to double click on it to open it with. Um, with MonoDevelop, and now it's time to edit this. So what do we need exactly here? We definitely need to um, take uh, a reference to the number of kills. So we're gonna have a kill count, and I'm going to introduce a kill count at the, at the beginning. Public int kill count, or kills count, so that we know the number of kills. And by default, it's gonna be zero. It starts at zero. Now, what we're going to do in the update, we're going to set the number of kill counts, so set kills count, but the text, the actual value on the screen. And let's create that. So that would be public void set kills count. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here. And now what should that do? So we need a reference to the, the text, the kill count text, which is the one right here, the uh, inside of the canvas, the kills text. So I'm gonna take the uh, kills text, because I need the exact same text, and back to the script, I'm going to get a hold of this. But first, we only want to do this if it's the local player, so that we only keep track of the local player kill counts, and we don't get confused with the other player kill counts. If is local player, and obviously, it's not gonna work, because we do not have a network behavior, we have a mono behavior. So I'm gonna turn this into a network behavior, Unity Engine, dot networking and then that would be again a network behavior all right so if is local player then what do we do then what we do is take the game object so game object the, the actual uh, the, the one that has the text so the kills text is equal to game object dot find and the one we want to find is the kills text all right and now what we want to do next is use that, so take the text out of this. Kills text dot get component, and we're going to get the text component. Text. By the way, it's not recognizing the text, as you can see, it's not there because we need the Unity UI. So using Unity Engine dot UI. All right, and now text will work. There we go dot text is equal to the kill count so that would be kills and then the number so plus the kill counts which would be kills count dot two string so that it becomes a string and not an integer all right and uh, at this point we are pretty much done just one thing though the uh, kills count we want to synchronize that so that every uh, Every, every, every client knows that this is the, the client. So to synchronize, I'm gonna put sync var in front of this int. There we go, not sync car, sync var. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna save this. And now what I need to do is 
tell when there's you know when there's a kill count when this increases and in order to do so I need to go to the script that's called the fire projectile script and if you guys remember what that is go to unity and inside of unity locate the script that fires the that uh, that has the collision for the projectile we already worked on it so you guys should know that it's inside of uh, pyro particles prefab then script and locate the fire projectile script double click on it to open it and um, somewhere where it says player health that's where we do the the actual damage here as you can see we do the damage of 20 now feel free to change that number if you'd like to and what we want to do now is to say that um, um, here we want to say that who made the damage so how are we going to do that we're going to say if uh, so let's check if the player got killed so basically when the damage goes got done here when we're doing the damage we want to see if the damage change so here we're going to say if, if the player health is not null and the player health dot current health is greater than zero then we do that because if it's not greater than zero then there's no no need to to do that because you know it's it's already the person the, the player is already dead okay and now after doing the damage code this this specific line of code does the damage so we're going to say that if the player health dot current health is now less or equal to zero at this point that means that what if if when we came in it was greater than zero and now it's less than zero that means that the player died because it went from above zero to below zero or zero so it's a death player just died okay and then what we're going to do is increase the number of kills of that player so increase let's create a method number of kills for player with name and now the player name that we're going to put is this dot owner name because it's the the, the the one that's owning the projectile which is the firebolt is the one that's doing the damage now obviously we do not have this method so let's create it I'm going to copy this and do it right below right here and uh, what is it going to do well first of all we gotta do the damage so that will be um, that will be void increase number of kills for player name let me fix the player name here okay and then that would be a string it takes a string and the string would be the player unique name all right and this needs to what, what does this do well um, I've, this does uh, this basically increases the counts of the number of kills so let's do that by taking the uh, player game object game object obj is equal to game object dot find and we're going to find that player how by using the player unique name all right now that we have the player unique name we do object dot get component and we're going to get the script that we just created which is the uh, the uh, player kill so player kills dot kills count plus plus so we just increasing that count all right now it seems that I have an extra uh, an extra curly brace that's closing so I'm just gonna remove this one that seems to be it all right there we go and it seems that it's not recognizing the kills count here so I want to see what's going on with that maybe it's because I did not save did not save the player kills let's see here is the kills count so I'm just gonna copy that and put it in a fire projectile all right and I'm saving this okay yes I see the error is that we're just missing the open and close parentheses here and that will fix it all right and uh, now I believe that's almost it one more thing to add is that we need to attach the script so go to your project and locate the kills the player kills script all right so look for player kills it's right there okay and we need to attach this to Iron Man so select the Iron Man the prefab and then in the identifier go all the way down click on add component and select player kills all right it's attached perfect 
Now I have two games, again, the server and the client, and I'm gonna check the kills count. I'm gonna go on the server, and I'm gonna kill um, the, the purple character. There we go, and we get one kills, perfect. Now let's try that on the other side once it's respawned. So I'm gonna use this time the other character, which is the red one, but let me move the uh, white character now. I'm gonna move it here so that it's easier to see. All right, and now I'm gonna kill it. So it will be the yellow character on the right side. All right, and one kill. Excellent, so everything works great. Uh, you can keep trying, but as you can see now, the kills are getting add up together. So that's we're exactly where we want to be. Let me do one more kill, just for the sake of seeing it. This should go to two, and the other one should stay to one. All right, there we go, perfect. Excellent. Now we can have scores and even have leaderboards of the people that are doing the most kills.